thank you for the introduction. So I'm going to talk about uh, substance abuse. Actually, even though this is substance abuse, I'm actually not going to talk to you on substance abuse per se, but I would like to raise your awareness into some of the substances available in this country and their common presentation to assess clinicians, that is the delirium and uh, the intoxication and the withdrawal features. Because recently we had some, uh, the peculiar admissions, peculiar the presentation to uh, the medical wards where we had some problems clarifying what the actual presentation, uh, presentation was. Uh, so why, what is a psychoactive substance? Uh, psychoactive substance is a substance when taken in or administered into one system affect mental processes like the cognition or affect or the mood. And uh, for many millennia, for thousand and thousand years, uh, there are some evidence where these uh, the naturally occurring substances and, and, and uh, plant derivatives have some effect on, on humans. And why do humans have uh, these effects? Uh, the hallucinogens, opioids, and, and magic mushroom, and the cannabis, they have been used by the, the, the human for, for ages. Like, you know, not just for, sometimes not just to make, it, make them high, but for some other purposes as well. For an example, uh, these, the, the, the extracts of uh, the peyote cacti been used by Native Americans to alter their consciousness in order for them to converse, communicate with their deities or the dead, uh, uh, the, the, the dead spirits so that they can bring about certain, you know, get to, get to know about some uh, the things in the, the community. And uh, why, why do these drugs or, you know, the natu naturally occurring substances affect humans? Why do, uh, are, are these, you know, the humans and uh, the plants, did they co-evolved? Why plants have the chemicals which, you know, uh, which resembling the neurotransmitters and why uh, there are adaptation in humans to, you know, interact with these chemicals, why they have enzymes to the metabolize or why, why these are rewarding to uh, the humans. This is why actually the, uh, the substance is, you know, the, uh, the addiction is forming, but I'm not going to talk about those today. So, uh, I will be discussing uh, of the substances available. There are substances, you know, the psychoactive substances, we can categorize substances depending on the, on the, the, uh, the action they bring about in the uh, central nervous system. There are stimulants, the hallucinogens, the narcotics and tranquilizers, the, the CNS sedatives. So there are substances available, not only in, 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 in Western, but also in our country as well. So there are a lot of problems created by uh, substances, medical, social, cultural, and legal, and we as clinicians would you know, deal with medical problems, but I as a psychiatrist uh, deal with some social as well as legal problems as well associated with substances. So there are uh, these substances, tobacco, licit and illicit alcohol, marijuana, opioids, and medicinal substances are very common in, you know, the, in uh, uh, very common substance of misuse in Sri Lanka. Uh, so, Let's look into each of these, you know, the briefly. So the cannabis. Cannabis is the most widely used illegal substance in the world. So more than 5,000 years, people have been using uh, these for recreational purposes, medicinal and, you know, the religious, as well as to make papers and, and clothes. And, uh, you know, most of the, the, the ancient world, the medicinal system, they have used cannabis. Uh, the China, in India, in Arab, in Egypt, all of them used uh, cannabis for the medicinal purposes. And cannabis is available in different forms. Can be, you know, uh, the resin, so, you know, the, the herb, weed, or, you know, there are a lot of uh, uh, the presentation. And uh, there are a lot of names. Sometimes, you know, some uh, the patient would come and tell you, okay, doctor, I'm, I'm taking this. And you would you might not know what actually the substance is. So uh, the, the, the cannabis being, you know, uh, uh, identified as you know, the ganja, kansa, marijuana, hashish, the grass, pot, weed, joint, Mary Jane, and there are a lot other names as well. And to, uh, to tell you what this, you know, the Triloka Vija, there was a recent uh, the book published by this name, uh, Triloka Vija. This is actually a Sanskrit name of the cannabis. It literally means, Vijaya means victorious, victory. The Triloka means three worlds, heaven, hell, and the, the earth. So if you take cannabis, 
you'll be victorious in all these three worlds. I doubt. OK, the pharmacological properties of cannabis. They have a lot of uh, the, 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 uh, the chemicals, which are you know, the active chemicals. And out of these, uh, the nine delta tetrahydrocannabinol and cannabidiol are the most important things for us as clinicians. Because these two substances, these two chemicals, make you know, different action uh, on, on uh, human, depending on the, the receptors they are working on. They have different, uh, the places where uh, these, uh, the, the receptors can be fine for these uh, specific uh, substances. Uh, so uh, classically, we know that uh, tetrahydrocannabinol produce you know, the nasty effects of the cannabis, which is the psychosis and anxiety. And the cannabidiol is actually the best part of cannabis. Uh, it, it's actually antipsychotic. That may be the reason we say that you know some people who are actually you know having psychotic prodrome would take cannabis to make them better, and it has anti seizure activity as well. And if the subs, you know if the present patient is you know more in tetrahydrocannabinol compared to uh, the cannabidiol, it's more uh, dependent forming and as well as uh, intoxicating. Uh, the cannabis. It enters uh, the brain within seconds and bring about actions within minutes and last these, the action lasts for about say five to eight hours. And, uh, and, and the, the intoxication has both the physical as well as psychological features. With these, uh, the physical features of course they might come into you and with psychological features they might come into me. So they come with red eyes, tachycardia, postural hypertension as physical signs, uh, the, the psychological, this, this is the very reason why they're actually abusing this, this substance, because of the relaxation effect, or the, uh, the elation, or the or, you know, uh, disturbance in memory and the judgment. And there are some nasty effects as well on uh, the intoxication. And, and some people think, you know, there are cognitive uh, dysfunctioning as well, not up to the level of alcohol, the acute cognitive dysfunction, where you know, this, this can impair your driving. Uh, the withdrawal, uh, the withdrawal effects again have psychological as well as uh, uh, the physical symptoms, restlessness, irritability, anxiety, uh, decreased appetite, and uh, this, uh, the withdrawal would last for about say one month. And there are ways that you can detect uh, cannabis, you know, uh, with different specimens, urine, blood, hair. Uh, the hair, of course, you can, you know, detect it for a longer period of time, but urine, depending on the the amount of substance you have taken, it depends the time window you have, uh, you can uh, detect. Risk of cannabis, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think that I have to uh, the mention each of these, but there are a lot of uh, the problems, risks associated with cannabis use. Uh, there are non-medical use of cannabis as well. And, uh, and the people say, the, most of the artists say that their creativity would increase, increase, enhance with cannabis. But the research evidence is not so uh, the, the, the promising. Uh, you know that you know, most of the, the musicians in the world, not, 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 not just in Sri Lanka, but in, in the elsewhere as well, uh, they are you know, notorious to take cannabis, thinking that their uh, the creativity would be enhanced. And I would not talk about the medicinal use of the cannabis. That, that's a different topic I think we need to discuss. But somehow because of this medicinal, so-called medicinal use of the cannabis, there's a huge uh, the advertising campaign to uh, the bring about the cannabis into, uh, you know, in, in here also in Sri Lanka also there's a big uh, ha-hoo about uh, the promoting cannabis as a medicinal substance. Okay, then I would uh, switch to uh, the heroin. Uh, heroin, again, it's, you know, there are a lot of names, uh, the heroin being identified as in the brown sugar, dragon, uh, dope, uh, brown crystal, and there are different ways that people are taking, uh, ingesting uh, uh, heroin. Uh, the most prevalent method in Sri Lanka is, you know, this, uh, the sniffing and inhalation, that is the chasing the dragon, and uh, IV uh, injection is not very, you know, common in uh, Sri Lanka, unlike in the Western. There are, you know, uh, the physical uh, uh, intoxication. There are, you know, the, the, the classic 
uh, the physical symptoms of intoxication where you get the pinpoint the pupils, the people get, you know, the, the, the abuser might get, you know, clammy skin. They have bradycardia, lowering of body temperature, and constipation. Mind you, this respiratory depression, very important uh, uh, feature of uh, intoxication. Why I say is that, you know, usually, you know, there's, you know, that, you know that with most of the uh, psychiatric substances, they have tolerance. Uh, when, you know, a uh, heroin user abstain from, uh, Heroin, they use their tolerance, you know, rapidly. Not like you know, the, it's, it, it, the, the 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 loosened tolerance is very rapid. So after a period period of abstinence, maybe due to you know non-availability of heroin, or maybe the person is in, incarcerated. Uh, when when you know the next time, whenever he takes the the substance for the first time after a period of abstinence, if he takes the the usual amount of uh, the amount of substance he used to take, this might you know give rise to lethal intoxication, which will give, give rise to you know, respiratory depression and death. And we have seen deaths associated with this kind of intoxication. Uh, the heroin, uh, again, the withdrawal again, you know, it's very, you know, the classic, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the presentation is very classic, where you, all, you will not miss uh, heroin uh, withdrawal symptoms. The, they would come and tell you, doctor, I have, you know, severe body ache. It's like, you know, the, I have, the, the broken bones, and they have uh, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and they have, if you, if you check them, they have dilated pupils, and they have uh, uh, the lacrimation, rhinorrhea, and uh, so th this presentation is very classic, and you will not miss a, a heroin user. Uh, heroin, again, can be used in, uh, and, and uh, this uh, withdrawal usually lasts for about, say, five days if the substance is pure. Benzodiazepine, do I need to discuss benzodiazepine? I think you are very familiar with uh, the benzodiazepine, but anyway, uh, the benzodiazepine, it's, it's not a, a substance of misuse, just you know, as a single, uh, single substance of misuse. Usually it's, it's, you know, the multiple drug users use uh, the benzodiazepine as one type of substance they use unless it's hydrogenic. Unless we have prescribed, uh, it's not a, a single the substance of misuse. So intoxication gives rise to sedation, inhibition, and relaxation. And the withdrawal can give rise to delirium. And, uh, and they can you know, have nightmares, vivid dreams, uh, rebound insomnia, kind of things. And they can have panic attacks. So the presentation could be either you know, the medical as well as psychological. Nicotine. Next, the nicotine. Nicotine is very, you know, uh, uh, the, it's the, the most dependent forming substance and it's really difficult to uh, treat uh, nicotine uh, uh, dependence. Uh, nicotine usually gives rise to, you know, it's called the mini rush. The rush, the high would not last for a longer period of time. It's a mini rush, only you know, lasts for, you know, a shorter period of time. And then uh, you will have withdrawal features like you know, the restlessness, irritability, and then you have to take. That's why we have, you know, the most of the, 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 the smokers are chain smokers because of the mini rush. Whenever they, use, uh, you know, uh, missing the mini rush, they uh, light up another uh, smoke. And uh, the withdrawal, as I said, it's, you know, the withdrawal is very rapid and uh, they can get uh, irritability, poor concentration, and that's why they take another. So these are the kind of, you know, I, I deliberately missed alcohol. I don't think that I had to discuss alcohol. And, the, 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 and th these were the, the most common substance we have seen in, in Sri Lanka. There are uncommon substances as well, like you know, the methamphetamine, MDMA. Uh, so let's look into these, each of these briefly. Methamphetamine, uh, they're known as speed, ice, crystal, crank, and uh, they can be smoked, snorted, and since they are stimulants, they, they give rise to sympathomimetic effects when, you know, in, as an intoxication. Uh, the ecstasy, as Dr. Arosha said, this is the, the alleged culprit for the, the four deaths in uh, the, uh, the Panadura party, because uh, the, when you take ecstasy, you can, you know, it, it suppresses your need to eat, drink, and, you know, uh, you can party for, you know, the two, three days at a stretch which will give rise to malignant hyperpyrexia and dehydration, and then death. So that was the very reason 
uh, alleged reason by uh, the four uh, recent deaths in uh, the Panadura party. Withdrawal of uh, uh, the ecstasy, it's actually the opposite of the, the intoxication. And like uh, the heroin, the withdrawal would last for about, say, five days. Cocaine, this is the most, uh, the strong stimulant. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, it's you know, the name as in the crack, rock, blow. And there are some other names as well. And it can be, again, like you know, the injected or you know, smoked or sniffed uh, through nostrils. Sniffing uh, the cocaine can give rise to uh, the perforation of uh, nasal septum. So this is a very common, uh, you know, not, not very common in Sri Lanka, but it's very common presentation in, I think, in Western. I have seen during my uh, the foreign training. Uh, intoxication, as I said, this is sympathomimetic. There are a lot of, you know, the sympathetic activation can give rise to high blood pressure. And in, due to this high, high blood pressure, they can have, you know, a lot of the bleeds everywhere, not just in intracranially, but elsewhere as well. Psychologically, that's the opposite. I'm just, you know, the, running through all these slides because I have, you know, a very short period of time. And uh, so intoxication uh, and the, the uh, withdrawal are, you know, the just opposite. Uh, excitement, euphoria are the main reason why the people are taking uh, uh, the cocaine. And uh, the, the last one, the formication, the cocaine bug. It's a very classic uh, the presentation uh, identified with cocaine misuse, where uh, the user would come and tell you, doctor, I feel as if an uh, uh, insect crawling under my uh, skin. This is specifically known, known, uh, known as cocaine bug. And it, if the person is saying like that, usually if it is not delusional infestation, this is cocaine uh, uh, use. OK, the, uh, the withdrawal is known as crash. And uh, that's how the people are saying they're having crash. LSD, it's uh, you know, the lysergic acid diethylamide. It's uh, a strong uh, hallucinogen. Uh, can be available in different forms. These are available in Sri Lanka. That's the, the issue I need to tell you. Can come in, you know, tablet form or sugar cube. Sometimes they're available. Uh, uh, in, you know, the, uh, in, they are impregnated in blotting papers, and the blotting papers are the dried. There you can, you know, uh, burn it and smoke the the uh, the, uh, the smoke. Uh, during the first hour, you get, you know distorted perception, the size, and especially uh, uh, your outside as well as your own body image would be distorted. PCP and the ketamine are uh, dissociative anesthetics, are used as substance of misuse. They, they are strong hallucinogens as well. I think some of you might have you know, experience with using ketamine. And uh, so uh, these two are you know, uh, somewhat similar in, in, in their presentation. Uh, the ketamine, there are special names, uh, the, uh, the Keep Cat, uh, the Trank, and Special K, and, uh, and, and they, are, uh, they can actually you know, give rise to uh, deaths you know, if, if the, the, the intoxication is very severe. Date drugs, so date raping drugs, are available in Sri Lanka. Do you know what date raping dr drugs are? This is actually you know, when these drugs were given given to an uh, unsuspecting uh, uh, a person, they would go into, you know, sudden, you know, the, the action is very, you know, rapid. Uh, you know, rapidly, they go into, you know, groggy and sleepy, and, you know, after that, they can't remember what has happened. So this has been used by the people to, you know, they can, you know, since this, uh, the substance are uh, odorless and tasteless, can be easily, you know, mixed with the, the food items as well as in the drinks. Uh, so you know, if you if you give it to you know person, that person would know, not know what has happened afterwards. So it's easily you know, not just you know the some, you know other people, but sometimes can be used by your own uh, the partner. That's why these are called dead drugs. Inhalants are actually you know this is a use uh, 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 practice among uh, the adolescents. They. Uh, uh, they inhale household or industrial chemicals, and 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 they get you know high and you know hallucinatory experience with this. And death is you know we have seen a lot of you know the you know I I, I visit uh, uh, certified schools and you know children's home and I have seen uh, young children using this and they have you know hypoxia, pneumonia, and cardiac arrest as presentation. 
and there are medicinal substances as well used by the people, you know, uh, there are a lot. And, uh, and mind you, uh, do not prescribe people easily on the, if they, you know, would ask for you these substances. Uh, just, you know, be aware of these. I, detection is uh, available in Sri Lanka. It's, uh, and that's a, this is the, the most uh, significant problem I would like to you know, raise your awareness on, you know, the new psychoactive substances, so NPS. This is not a uh, very you know, uh, new concept, but it has been there for ages. New psychoactive substances are substance of abuse, either in pure form or in preparation, which may be post public health threat. And uh, why I need, you know, and, and uh, so according to 2017, uh, the WHO, uh, uh, United Nations presentation, these are the countries, including Sri Lanka, have reported the new psychoactive substances. There can be different, uh, you know, uh, the profile of the psychoactive substance can be uh, in this, but there are, you know, the category we are not yet assigned because we don't know the chemical profile, or, you know, the psycho, or psychopharmacological, psychodynamic, uh, the profile of these uh, substances. We don't know what, what, what sort of, you know, things they actually uh, uh, bring about in your system. Uh, so there are, you know, different substances as these. There are synthetic everything, you know, the cannabis, and uh, the methamphetamines are, you know, the most of, of them are synthetic. There are, uh, the opioids, uh, uh, synthetic opioids. So there are a lot of things. And the challenge in front of us as clinicians is actually we don't know what these new substances are. And then we don't know how to treat them. We don't know how to recognize them. So we have to have actually have a little understanding. And main reason why, uh, is actually, you know, in Sri Lanka, because of the economical problem, you know, the, for the benefits, people adulterate substances. So the, even though now, uh, when, a, when a case goes to, you know, the, uh, if, if a person, you know, uh, uh, apprehended in possession of heroin, uh, the police would say the, the person is having two grams of the heroin. But in the end, after the government analysis, the actual amount of heroin in that, you know, the sample he had he, uh, he, uh, in his possession was, could be, you know, even less than 0.2 milligram. So that, so adulteration of, Substance has gone into that extent. And this uh, the, uh, the adultering substance, of course, we don't know what, what actually the chemical, uh, the proportion, the uh, uh, chemical uh, composition of this. These can, you know, create some other problems. Therefore, we, we actually don't know actually this is the pure intoxication or withdrawal or something else. So it's a huge uh, the challenge we as uh, clinician has, has to face in the future. Thank you.